Hey guys, what's going on? It's Distracted, and today we're doing something different. We're going to do a video editing tutorial. Um, I have an ex I have done video editing for a couple of years, like around like five or something like that. Mostly it was Call of Duty, so this is like a more slow-paced game. So there's other things to prioritize in these kind of you know tutorials. And I know that there's a lot of people who want to do you know make content on this game you know whether it be a new series like you know whatever uh, this could be something to make your videos pop out make it more enjoyable for people to you know watch stuff like that so i think uh yeah i think this would be a pretty good series something that i could actually sustain because like you know I'm, I, it's hard to make a new series to be honest for me on runescape because like i'm I'm just, I don't know. I guess I'm not that creative anymore, but I can always do the video editing because I, that's something I just really know. And like, so we're going to start with that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just really quickly show you this. Like, these are the plugins that I use on Ruinlight. Animation smoothing, detachable camera, which makes it so you can fly around and stuff. Uh, free camera. Entity hider in case you want to hide like annoying ass NPCs that keep running into your shot. Yeah, it's you little bitch. Um, GPU, which makes the game just look smoother, gives it nice, good edges and stuff like that. Just makes it look better. Um, also, so you can like see farther and stuff. And yeah, just makes the game look uh, better. Green screen. That's, you know. For whatever you want to do uh you can do like animations or emotes green screen it stuff like that put your own background on it and then mini map mini map just takes out the mini map uh pretty nice i like i love that skybox same thing this replaces the sky behind you you can make that green and make that a green screen and that's going to be another tutorial that I'm going to do and then stretch mode stretch mode is pretty awesome because yeah that's more for like regular game play but it can be pretty kind of useful here you know it's just up to y'all um to, to be honest you probably want it off whenever you're recording things because it gives you more of a full screen effect you know you'll be able to get more of the screen with it off so um but i know a lot of people play with it so i thought i would just add it in there and like kind of show you the difference now with that being said with the free cam detachable camera my bad and ruin light if you don't play with ruin light um why aren't you for one but they do have a thing called the oculus orb it's the oculus orb you get it from Diango over in Draenor Village. You can buy the Oculus Orb from him for 60 gold coins. So 60 gold coins and you can do all this really cool flying around stuff. Get all the cool cinematics you want. Uh, it's got all the instructions like right there. Uh, you know, too easy, right? So I've, I've, this is like the third, fourth time I've done this because I always make them too long. So we're going to really just fire through this. Um, the programs I'm going to use is Sony Vegas and OBS studios. OBS is a free recording software for your computer. So you can get your, uh, games or you could do your just screen in general. I, you know, that's the best way to kind of think about it. That's kind of, that's what I'm using as well. So. As you can see, I pop it up and it pops up just like that. But uh, yeah, Sony Vegas 18 is the one I'm using. Google it, get it, uh, figure out how to get it for free. Uh, you know, educational purposes only. And I also have After Effects, uh, as you guys can't see because I'm gonna crop it all out, but I also have After Effects CS6 and stuff like that. But we won't do anything else except for Sony Vegas and OBS. Now let's go ahead and just get into Sony Vegas. 
Okay, so within the uh, media fire link down below, you will be able to get these two clips. Valley Cine clip, and I just, uh, yeah, GE wall clip. Those are going to be the two clips that we, we are using, you know, for this tutorial. So if you just want to go along with me, that's cool. If you have two clips that you want to use on your own, then, dude, that's dope uh, either way. So, all right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag these two clips into our timeline. And I have my fucking bars on. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, I actually did this whole thing and I'm redoing it because I didn't like it. So, that was like four hours of my life. I'm never going to get back. Um, okay. So, I don't want to use that one. I'm going to use this one. All right, I'm going to have the GE wall clip first and then the Falador cinematic clip next. But here's the thing. I'm actually going to delete these audio uh, layers. So click on it, press U, delete. Same thing with the other one, U, delete. And there we go. Now we just have that. Now I'm going to also delete that whole thing. And actually, I'm going to keep that because whenever I go to edit this episode, I'm going to need, need that. Okay. So this... You're going to make a new video layer and then that is going to go right underneath your, uh, your first clip. So it's, you know, it's like layers, you know, that's why it's called a video layer. So you want the second clip that you're, you know, going into underneath the first clip. All right. So as we're scrolling along right here, you're going to see that the wall or the uh, other side of this wall starts to appear. What we're going to do is we're going to go into pan and crop event. We're going to tick mask and then we are going to start masking out with our, our anchor creation tool or hotkey D we're going to make four of, well, after I get over there, we're going to make four key, uh, anchor points from here. So boom, boom. Um, just because we're going to be taking out, like we're going to mask out basically the rest of this whole screen. Like this is all going to end up being black. I'm going to start. Or I'm going to put my third one up here, my fourth down here, and then connect them. All right. So as you can tell, um, it's going to all go black except for this small corner down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our mask path and we're going to go to positive to negative on the mode. And then we're going to change the feather type to both change the feather type to around six or six to seven, maybe eight, just depends on what you're doing and how much feathering you want and stuff like that. Like you can mess around with that. But if you are going to do that, you're going to want to do it later on through the clip so you can see like basically the middle of the clip. I've already done this, so I know like what I'm wanting to keep my feather at. But if you want to mess around with uh, how well it's going to look, Go like a middle of the way through. Move your keyframes. Move your keyframes around. And then add your second clip in there. And then this is going to kind of give you like a rough look of how well this is going to be, you know, feathered out. And, you know, you can kind of gauge it off what you want to do. You know, you want a little bit more, you want a little less. Um, I think about six to, 
Yeah, about like four to four to six. Somewhere in between there, it's gonna look pretty good. Um, but yeah, anyways, enough skipping around. We are gonna just kind of go through. I'm gonna go up until, or I'm actually going to delete that keyframe. I'm gonna go up until this seam of the wall that I'm using is fully visible. And then I'm going to move my keyframes to that. So that is exactly how that is going to look. And then we can just kind of scroll through. It's pretty good. Not like the most amazing, you know, thing in the world. So that's why we're going to kind of scroll through our timeline and clean it up a little bit in between that like our first keyframe and then our keyframe where the seam is completely showable or visible and then from there i'm going to go all the way to the end where the seam ends and that's whenever i'm going to adjust these keyframes for the last time And then from here, we're going to do the same thing. Just start going back. Make sure the seam is, you know, good and taken care of. Just mess around with your keyframes a little bit or your uh, anchor points. I'm sorry. I keep saying keyframes. They're called anchor points, but it's going to make a keyframe. So that's why I keep doing that then boom I'll, I'll sometimes move it out of the way so i can make sure like where that seam is because on runescape like it's kind of a bitch to see some things and that's actually looking not too bad but yep that is basically it now as you guys can see uh, or maybe you can, maybe you can't. Right here in this little corner, there's a black little blop. And that's because our keyframes are still there. Or our anchor points are still there. Just go one frame ahead. Move your keyframe out of the way. And then as soon as you go to the next frame, they snap right to it. Like it's instantaneously there. So there's no like just seeing it casually drag along. But, yep, that will, that'll be it. That is the, you know, transition right there. It's a pretty simple one, I know. Uh, nothing too crazy about it, but it is still a pretty effective way to go from one, one part of Gilinor to the other one. And, you know, make it a little flashy. And, yeah, like that was it. Super simple. Uh, make sure you like highlight if you're using Ruin Light. Favorite those uh, plugins if you plan on making a lot of content. And not all videos need to have these crazy little, you know, transitions or special effects or anything like that. Um, this is just for, you know, you to use at your own, you know, leisure, whatever. Uh, it would just be really cool if somebody used it in their video and. Like I got, I could, I could, I don't know. I want to see it. So if you make a video and you use some, some transition like this, or like if you use something that I do a tutorial on, I don't know. Uh, link me. Like I, I would love to see that. So, uh, yeah, that's it guys. That's the transition. And if you want to know any like special effects or you know transitions down below like you see something on a video then please hit me up i'll try and recreate it or show you how they did it uh probably gonna do something with the green screen or the green screen sky you know sky replacement i know a lot of people will probably be into that uh, it's really not that hard but yeah so we'll see you on the next video guys and ladies, have a good one.